Hi, this is Brian Wilson, and today we're going to look at how to recolor text using the image blending tool inside of Adobe Express. So, what we have here is a new set of text and some branding stuff I want to work on for my webpage. And what I want to do is I want to take these words that are just basic text already in there. I do have the shadow effect and the outline effect turned on. And then the reason for that is it gives you a couple different coloring pieces when you do the layering. But what I want to show you is how everyone has the screens with two different photos. You can do the same thing with actually text. Now, when you do pick backgrounds, it's automatically going to drop it into the background. You also might see your um, uh, screen or, or actual app sort of readjust the, uh, the lighting and everything. But now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and push it over to multiply. Now, if you have your black background, you still won't see anything. Again, the actual piece is gone. You want to move it to the top layer, and now you can see it's actually blending through the words and showing that different texture on top of it. One of the other things that you can do here is that you can take the actual piece, once you still have it highlighted, and you can apply filters. So if you've already created some of your own sort of color schemes, you can go back in. So like where I have one of my brands loaded in, the Be The Good brand, um, I'm gonna pick this sort of navy kind of color. Um, it's offset navy, and then this light blue that I keep using. I don't really like the way that one looks, so we'll try this one, or we could go with the white, and I actually do like the white, and you can do two different renders. So what I mean by that is you can actually take this piece, go ahead and download it in the dark theme, give it a second. Sometimes you'll have some saving aspects that'll take a little bit of time. Um, that might be why it takes a little bit longer to actually download. Um, as always, click transparent background and it will wipe everything out. It'll all be there. And then you can swap it for this one and do the same thing. One of the things that I've done with this is I've also gone in and actually created a couple of pieces this way. Once it comes in, so now you can see here's my new logo. It's set up, it has a layering on it. Um, and then if you go in, I've been working on a couple of these. I've already shown like here's this one over here. And then you can also do the same thing with your other brands. So I really like to have these um, these nautical space maps uh, layered on top of a couple of pieces. So what I've done here is I have uh, a backdrop piece, um, sort of a, a squirtial, whatever you want to call it. And then that's the actual screen. Um, and then it lays down underneath a couple of blocks and settings. So I have these words on top that are the white, and then you can see how it colors differently because the edging is different. And so I'll bring that up to the top so you can see. Again, there's some other options that you can do. Um, this is one of the things where if you do render this, I recommend doing these multi-layer renders or blending on a desktop. Some of the phone apps, it doesn't always, the CPU on the phone won't necessarily push it all the way through, especially if the resolution is pretty big. Um, when I'm working on most of these, they're 1640s, so they're not giant, but anything above 1200, you might have some problems. I have had some issues on my Android phone where it sort of conks out. It doesn't know how to do the blending piece, so I have to go over and uh, download them on my desktop. Again, uh, as always, I hope this helps you out. This is a great tool to use in your um, in your portfolio. If you're looking for ways to sort of make fonts look different whenever you have a, uh, a contracted piece. I uh, hope it, you go well, and as always with Adobe Express, there are infinite possibilities and options. Uh, enjoy, and good luck. This is Brian Wilson with BFW Classroom again. If you don't mind, hit that subscribe button and check out some of these other tutorial videos in the list above.